the, the whole this thing. part. There you go. Okay, I bring it in. Whoa, brought it too much in. She got me nervous, Ben. I like it. How does it feel? Well, I'm not carrying this on five flights of steps. Uh -huh. City skylines rotate I'm on a road, got a flow Drive vibes like high rises My rise from top flow I'm cruising on 42nd Do a stop at 11 GPS goes down 7th Ave The drop off direction It's New York I see the world in a few blocks Slashing potholes like stunt doubles Up to a new stop My PEV has me feeling alive and free I ride with Anthony Now who wants to ride with me? Hello everyone, welcome back to Friday with Anthony Today's an exciting episode We're going to review The Mantis 10 SE I have heard so much about this scooter i am in love with this scooter so i am ready to get this shit started anyways this is not just a regular review we ain't trying to sell you anything this is a owner's review so if you made it this far please 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 like and subscribe share with your friends any questions or comments share, share that, that in the, the comment, comment section, section. Hi, right, you guys. We got a special guest. We got Domingo right here. He's the owner of the Cabo Mantis Pro 10 SE, right? That's right. Cool, man. Yeah, man. So tell, tell us about, like your experience with the scooter so far. So far, man, no complaints, man. Love the scooter, love the ride. Rides really well. I mean, for a heavy guy like me, it rides extremely well. So all the heavy riders, this is the way to go, man. All oh. right, man. So let's talk about specs, though. Like. All yeah, right. Wait, um, how fast does the scooter go? Oh uh, wow! So it does go 40 miles per hour, but big guy like me, <laughs> about 39, 38. So, but it's still very fast. I have been enjoying the rides. It's not, it's not a slouch. It's okay. definitely not a slouch. The specs, uh, it's an 18.2 amp hour battery or 18.4 amp hour battery. Okay. They're dual motors, 1,000 watts, uh, semi hydraulic brakes on both sides, and full suspension, which is great. And you can adjust the, the suspensions from the screws. But I leave it the way it is because I, I we have a lot of potholes. Yeah. yeah and we got to take them if we to just nose dive into them. We got to take yeah. them. One thing I noticed about the scooter, you guys, that the suspensions on, on this scooter is phenomenal yes like it's my opinion you guys i know you guys gotta hate me because i know i'm a door trying to die hard but i feel like this the the suspensions on the cabo mantis is far way better than the far superior right Hell i yeah. mean the fact that you can adjust it to however you're liking like that the whole quality of life is that what they call that yeah yeah like that already automatically gives it a win yeah yeah the only thing that i notice about the scooters like in every scooter um the cabo has less moving parts and i've noticed that a lot of people who they love their e-move cruisers mm -hmm. they have tons of screws that they have to tighten all the time oh, yeah. after every ride do but you had anything like to tight screws any new screws to be honest with you the only screw i had to ever tighten in this is actually by where the stem uh, the stem is actually right here by these two by where the calipers are, are being held that was it and it was just once and, okay. it, and it's been since four, uh, five six months later okay. and it's still tight so like what's the maximum range of a guy in, in real world terrain here in new york city right real world i've done from so i ride from the bronx and i ride into brooklyn so i do about roughly 19 to 20 miles that's and it's on right? a single charge no on a single charge oh, single wow. way one way it's 20 miles so it and by the time i get to brooklyn i'm at like 40 percent oh wow that's so, not that bad yeah 30 yeah. to 40 percent and then by the time i get back home charge it up i'm back home yeah. it's just harder because it's uphill going home and it's downhill coming back yeah Forever, we ride forever, ever No matter what the rain, sun, whichever endeavor yeah. We put in the effort, yo, we got miles delivered uh -huh. Whenever it's better, boy, from bodega to sender Words. Moving the scooter to maneuver through the sewers, Uber Eat. Doing a group ride, A to B, I aim to be a straight shooter <laughs> On the streets, I roll the dice, giving greens to ice, bringing beans to rice Walk One along, question I want to ask you, you know, you're the owner of the scooter, you got over like 600 miles What's the things that you wish it was a little bit different or the cons on of it? Okay, so the only thing that I really have a complaint about, there's just two complaints. Um, the tires are great, they're road tires, 
they're meant to be on dry pavement. You cannot use them on a wet pavement and obviously wet leaves are our worst enemies when yeah. we're riding. But I wish that, that they would have given us an option to at least have like uh, hybrid tires, at uh -huh. least so that we have some kind of better grip when we're riding. Uh, secondary of it all, um, the brakes are absolutely amazing. Okay. But I feel like sometimes uh, I've tested the Eagle, uh, the, the one that you have, the, the Eagle, Eagle Pro. Pro. I tested it, the brakes on the newer one, I think it was the, the Dualtron Eagle Pro, okay. they were a lot softer, uh -huh, but softer. they were able to stop without you feeling like you're gonna go forward. Yeah, go forward, right. right. This, you guys, if you brake with one tap, you you need to be like really sensitive with absolutely that. you definitely really have to be sensitive. careful because but the thing is is that you get used to it so then you know how to stop and how to maneuver because the front brakes if you stop with it you're gonna go flying so yeah. you got to start with your back and then work your way to the front nice. and my last gripe is the battery if i could at least have the 24 amp hour battery okay. i would feel more comfortable and i wouldn't have that range anxiety like that damn yeah. man am i gonna make it you know yeah because sometimes when you go uphill you got that battery sag and oh, then yeah, your, you your bolt just goes down and you're like man i'm not gonna make it i'm gonna do the walk of shame and you know <laughs> and i don't want to do the walk of shame so but yeah but after that after i get home i'm like uh, after the battery recovers i'm back at 40 percent and i'm good so just the tip don't hold the throttle full throttle just let go tap and go tap and yeah. go you know so this way go. oh cruise control oh, cruise control which yeah. i use i use cruise control but i noticed that with cruise control it does drain the battery just yeah. as fast so you gotta let um the batteries you gotta give them time to recover yeah, because if absolutely. not they won't they won't recover yeah. see i call that shit trigger discipline because I, when i ride i actually use more of like stop and go stop and go on right the thing and less of the brake right. so like it's just more comfortable for me i know how to engage okay i'm gonna slow down and then if somebody's gonna really cut me off i'm slow enough to hit the brake and i won't fly forward right yeah. right yeah but the thing is that what's good is that you got that that nine bot so and your frame <laughs> hey let's look at the, 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 the nine beautiful bot right. nine yeah, bot right guys, there good. Yeah, four thousand miles in this bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the nine bot is no joke but you know being that you're a lighter guy than i am you get more range me i gotta worry about it because i'm a bigger guy yeah. and anthony's a little smaller than me so yes he's a <laughs> Medium, so you got here's big, a, medium, small. Here's a question: Because the scooter is heavier than mine, does it actually help with like the range for people and their weight and whatnot? Uh, so I think that obvious, the obvious reasons is that the heavier the scooter, and if you're a lighter frame, you get more mileage. Right. But it's going to be heavier for you in peer, you know, just yeah, in general yeah, yeah, yeah. to carry because these scooters are pretty heavy. It's like about 60, 65 pounds. Plus, you got the accessories. It's like about 70 pounds. So there was a huge controversial thing with the Mantis brand with, with Cobble. Can you please? share that okay so their controversy that a lot of people were suffering was the stems sometimes the it's like a stem bolt and it's this silver plate right here underneath the stem lock wow. and what would happen is is that um it, it would snap yeah, it would and when you're riding that would snap you fall you get hurt yeah so uh for the 2021 models they redid the the stem lock and as well as the stem uh, the actual the bolt nut, the bolt yeah. right the bolt mm -hmm. that holds that stem yeah. they redid it so this way it won't break apart and that's why what you see with the new mantis gt it has like that lever yeah and it looks a lot more secure than these you know but i've never had a problem with the stem like unlocking or anything like that i'm gonna really. tell you guys something the Dortron eagle pro does wobble on me i do have that in the back of my head like one of these days gonna snap on me you know it is what it is with these things man yeah i agree man yeah. and the, the best thing to do is like when you're riding always check your locks yeah and check your screws because you don't want to ride and then your tire come flying off your caliper come flying off or any piece come flying off you just want to make sure you're always absolutely tightening everything yeah. up before you ride but i mean you got 600 miles on, on your next 600 you gotta better check that absolutely yeah, yeah. i'm not a veteran <laughs> i'm not like anthony or Regan, nah. which they're the, they're the professionals but yeah yeah, yeah, just ride for fun. Yeah. Seven accidents certified. You oh. want to check your shit, all right? Seven <laughs> accidents certified. I'll tell you guys something. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. when. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I wear my helmet. I got my elbow guards. Yeah. I got my knee guards. You look like the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, Rikin is going to do the lift test. Explain how he's going to lift it. All right, Rikin. So what you want to do is you want to put your palm underneath the stem right. and you want to grab this part. Okay. So when you pick it up, This thing. part. There you go. Okay. I bring it in. Whoa, brought it too much in. She got me nervous, man. I like it. 
How does it feel? Well, I'm not carrying this on five flights of steps, uh -huh. but I like it. It's really nice. <laughs> I'm doing it a little too far. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. Because I'm not used to. Because I'm grabbing here, and yeah, this so is the wheel. Yeah, under the bolt is right here, bro. Oh. Yeah. Oh, make my it bad. I'm sorry, y'all. That'll make it easier. Right here. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. So, Ricky, let me ask you something. If you didn't know how much the scooter weighs. This you doing feels, the lift test, how, how, yeah, how does it feel? This feels, it feels more heavy here, especially because of all the specs. Like what, like 60, 50, what? This feels like 70. You're wow. right, you're right. 70. Well, 70. 70. 70. I mean, you got a lot of accessories. Yeah. It's the, that's that what it is, it's the yeah. accessories. Like, if you go to the gym and you lift a 35 pound dumbbell, and you ever did farmer walks, this is what it would feel like if you yeah. just went like that it and you walked. Yep. All right, we have peer pressured Anthony to lift this. <laughs> you guys know I live in a fifth floor with no elevator. <laughs> Let's see if this is going to be the scooter that I'll upgrade to. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Nah, uh -huh. nah, it works like the Eagle Pro. I don't know it's why it power. is though, and it's 18, 18 amp hours. So. 18.2, yeah. Yeah, the, the the battery of the Eagle Pro is a lot bigger than this. Oh, it's, the it's just the ex it's, it's the, the accessories. accessories. Yeah, and you yeah. know, and you feel it too because it's more top heavy, right? Yeah, yeah. Top yep. heavy. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Absolutely. Damn. So, well, how much you drop for the scooter? What was the price range? So. Cabo normally sells this for $19.99. Um, they had a sale when I bought it, it was for $17.99. But if you subscribe for their email, if you put your email address, they give you $50 off additional. Okay. So okay. I paid $17.50. They gave me the bag for free for just an honest review of how my experience was. And I can tell you, I bought this from Vower Motors in Brooklyn. Okay. And the experience was phenomenal. The, the people there were super friendly. They have a lot of scooters for you to see. So I highly advise people, yeah. if they're going to buy a scooter, go to Vora Motors, go to the manufacturer and get it done right. Yeah. You know? Absolutely, you guys. You do not want to buy a scooter from an online shop. Cause you know you don't ever test for if you never rode a scooter that's not the that's not the right move absolutely because it's like buying a car you're not gonna buy a car online and you never driven the car or test ride the car thing is is that I tell people and no offense Rika please don't beat me up with all you know I know in the comments they probably say something but, there's a river right there uh, I'm sure <laughs> <laughs> but um, the nine bot is a great scooter for commute for people light yeah like people who are not heavyweight like me I can't buy the nine bot because I'll get less range of than course. what I would do it and I then agree. I'm gonna drop seven to nine hundred dollars on the nine bot and I'm not happy now I want to sell it I'm gonna take a hit yeah. yeah so I just said you know what it's 1750 I get it plus taxes a lot of money but at the end of the day you're happy you know mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then you don't have I won't have to do the walk of shame with the with the nine or upgrade or you upgrade. Know? Yeah. Like I always tell people, buy your first scooter that is gonna be your last, meaning that's gonna be your last scooter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Regan is gonna test out the Mantis Pro SE. Is this? Was this? Is this? Oh, uh, let me put it on. Let me put it on on one. Yeah. There we go. It's that one that went on twenty. <laughs> Front brake, rear brake, right? Yeah. Right. And then of course you got your. Don't hit it now, but I'm that's not right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah when right. the throttles on pushed. All right. Not yet. Watch out where there's a two way. I know. Oh, there it is. That torque is insane, son. So I'm only going 13. Yeah, this is a very sensitive scooter. Yep, very, very sensitive. Oh yeah, you need trigger, you need trigger discipline on this shit. All right, now we're going Segway speed. The torque is mad fucking powerful, but it's pretty comfortable. I'm not a fan of fingers. The suspension is nice. I'm not a fan of finger grip or finger throttles, right? but you know it's what? Good. It's the not that bad. It's pretty light. comfortable. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's insane. It's insane. You gotta take it off turbo, yeah, put it's it on, on eco. Yeah, like on some real shit, like you need trigger discipline because <laughs> like no, like trigger for real. Like, like for real, because if you hit this, right, there is a lot of torque in this shit. If you are not used to it like I am, it's not a slow buildup. It's, it's, it's it hits you. So be very careful. You are not trying to hit this all the way down. You want to lightly 
just just tease it yeah all right and make sure you know where you are with the mode all right you guys thank you so much domingo for meeting up with us here in new york city um it, it, we really appreciate you coming out you know owner's review really honest anything you want to say before we get out of here um a bit more towards me thank you so much for everyone watching as always as always we love the support listen we have bunch of upcoming stuff to tell you about but right now currently we got member programs and we got patreon if you just wanted to help out with the channel a little bit more obviously what you're doing is was perfect but if you just wanted to have the incentive for just a little bit more we're not asking it's out of your free will definitely do that links in the description but cool. that's all i got man how about you Domingo? you want to say anything yeah man take a look at these guys man help them out man these guys are gonna be doing great man so I all right cool it. man all right you guys on to the next one with writing with that one thing that we all gotta carry. So this is, I think, it's a lamb ghoul. Uh, so it's this one, lamb ghoul. Oh wow! Oh, okay. This is a special accessory that I recommend everybody to buy. Cause you